see y'all about to go out and you know it's saturday night i'm feeling sexy i'm feeling like i look good my hair is freshly washed and pressed but you ain't gonna believe this wait 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 you're not really finna believe this ain't nobody finna talk to me i mean like not one man is gonna step to me and say what's good ma like not one man not one man is gonna have the gall to come push up on me and offer to buy me a drink and you see, I don't understand why I be getting so fine because who am I doing it for? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not doing it because I got a husband at home and I want him to think I look sexy, okay? So if you see me out and, you know, you feel like you're a good candidate for me, you know, like, and I would feel like you're a good candidate for me also, holler at me. Otherwise, I'm going to go home by myself again tonight. <laughs> but I'm going to wake up single tomorrow again. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Let me start with this because she said towards the beginning that who is she looking good for? She surely don't have a husband to come home to so he could think she looks good. You're doing it for men. Well, this has been an ongoing debate that men and women have been having. Women will say, no, we y'all think we're doing it for y'all. Nope, we're doing it for us. But then you'll get all pretty and all good looking to go to the club and try to meet somebody. Hmm, yeah, whatever. And she just basically said it right there. She's looking good, you know, to attract a guy. All right. Now that I said all that, got all that out the way. Let me tell you why guys are not approaching you. For a whole bunch of different reasons. It could be the body language you're giving off. It could be your attitude. It could be a whole bunch of stuff. But my personal opinion, I want to name three things. I'm going to go into a little bit of detail on all three. Number one, uh, 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 like I said, you might look good, but today's society shames men for trying to approach a woman. Oh, he's thirsty. Oh, 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 he's a creep. He's a weirdo. Men need to leave us alone. Blah, blah, blah. All that nonsense. Right? So, of course, if this is all we're getting, we're going to say, okay, you know what? We're going to leave you alone. Now y'all women are complaining. Number two kind of falls in line with number one. If you want to be approached by men, why don't you tell those women that don't want to be approached by men to shut the hell up so you can get you a man because one woman is ruining for all women you heard that old saying one person can ruin it for everybody yeah that's a true statement so if you want to be approached why don't you tell those women to shut up because i was telling my wife this uh not too long ago i said if it, let's, I, I told my wife, I said, let's just say I'm single and I want to approach you. I said, how do I know that you're not one of those women that t saying leave us alone? We don't want to be approached by men. Men are weird. Men are creeps. Blah, blah, blah. My wife said, I don't know. I said, right. Now, if you don't know, how am I supposed to know? Yeah, women give us choosing signals all the time. I hear stories all the time. Women give us choosing signals and nothing. Still, uh, nothing happens. So, yeah, don't want to hear it. Okay. And number three, the Me Too movement. Women use that to, to, to destroy a guy's life. I'm not saying that he didn't do something or he did do something. That I don't know because I don't know him. You can only go by whatever is presented to the public. Now, with that being said, women have and came out and admitted that they lied on men because of whatever the situation may be. Because they didn't get what they wanted from him. They are embarrassed, so they're going to try to embarrass him, mess his life up, blah, blah, blah. So, with that being said... My thought process is, if I got to go through all this to meet a woman, I might as well just stay single. I'm going to do like uh, rapper Drake do. 
You know what I'm saying? If I'm a single man, hey, I'm recording every goddamn thing. I'm uh, 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 making you sign contracts, all of that. Man, I got to protect myself these days. Men, we got to protect ourselves. You see what I'm saying? Because women don't have to prove anything. All they can do is just walk up to a, to a police officer and point at a guy and say he did this and did that. And our lives are ruined, not theirs. So, yeah. 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 That's that's one that's a, just a few reasons right there. I mean, it's a whole bunch of other reasons. It ain't the fact that you you that you are not an attractive woman because you are attractive. It can also be your attitude, your choice of words towards the man, your body language, or if you're going out with so many friends at once, not too many men are going to walk up on you and, uh, and, and, and other women just to try to holler at you. I'm not saying go to the club alone or go to the bar wherever you're going. I'm not saying go alone. That's your choice. But think about it. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, ladies, you can't have it both ways. A man is going to uh, 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 want to be with you, but you got to come on now. You got <clears throat> Y'all got to understand. You got to think. Why is men not approaching? Huh. Today's society shames men for approaching women. For doing the things that, been, that we've been doing since the caveman days. Y'all don't know the caveman would go and hit a woman over the head. Which I don't believe this story. But still, whatever. Would hit a woman over the head with his club and drag her back to his cave. So a man would go and approach the woman. How do you think relationships start? And then how we know you find us attractive? Y'all don't say nothing. I've always said it. I don't care what no one says. If you want a man, go get one. Go say something to him. Because these days, shit, we don't know. We don't know. With that being said, just think about it, ladies. You can't have it both ways. And if you're the one that wants to be approached by men, why don't you go tell those women that that is very loud in, in, in all the social media platforms, very loud in the streets, want us to leave them alone? Well, how do we know who to approach then? So you need to say something. But y'all women won't because y'all don't want to Lose y'all social ability with other women. See what I'm saying? Y'all love, women love to communicate with other women. So they don't want to lose that by saying, uh, 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 no, don't, that's you don't want to be approached. I do. So then that woman, y'all ain't gonna, you know, well, what, I ain't gonna go down that road, but you get one, you get my point. What I'm trying to say is this if you want to be approached, you need to be loud just like the ones that say they don't want to be approached. The Me Too movement. A man ain't trying to ruin his life what he worked hard for. And number three, like I said, y'all shame men so damn much. Men are just saying, fuck it then. How am I going to be called thirsty for trying to approach a good-looking woman? How do you think relationships and family start? By the man approaching the woman. That's how it always has started. So since y'all call us all these names, since y'all act like all this, why don't you approach the man? Go get you a man. Y'all want to claim equality? Go get your man. Go approach him. Oh, you ain't going to do that, though. Hmm. Whatever.